contracts. They can be the key to starting out farmers in finding their way through their first year. They're also a great way to learn how to use new machinery or try out new crops. Farming Simulator 25 contracts have changed rather significantly as compared to how they were in Farm Sim 22. First off, we have a totally new UI to the game and to contracts themselves. In addition, you're gonna find contracts have an expiration date and time. So for example, most of these contracts are gonna expire in 14 hours and 15 minutes. Some contracts may span the time frames. For example, our dead wood contracts, our rock removal contracts, and our wood transport contracts. They're gonna have a longer expiration time frame on them. Something else to note is contracts are extremely specific. So we have a bale wrapping contract for David. What we need to do is we need to wrap some bales, specifically round bales. They're gonna be found on field 84. We can bring our own equipment or we can lease equipment. And if we do lease equipment, well, we're gonna lose $400 off the total cost of our contract. Bailing. Walter wants us to bale some bales up here on field 19. He wants us to use a square baler. Don't show up with a round baler because you're going to get rejected. He wants square bales. In fact, David, well, he also wants square bales over here on field 88. I was kind of hoping that David would want round bales so we'd have a little bit of an example. But do note that if you show up with your own baler, it better match the bale type or you're going to get rejected. Deadwood trees are very similar to the Silver Run Forest contract on deadwood trees. You're going to find trees marked with an X with some spray paint. You're going to cut them down either with your own machinery or supplied machinery. And then at that point, once you have cut down the nine trees for this particular contract, you're going to earn a little bit of a reward. There's not a whole lot of money into dead trees, so it's more or less doing the community a service. Fertilizing contracts are very, very similar to how they were in FS22. You show up, you pick your own type of fertilizer because Farmer Ben, Walter, they don't really care. And you're going to fertilize the given field. And once you've fertilized enough of the field, Walter, Ben, and all the other NPCs are going to say, yep, that's good enough. Thank you for coming. How about bringing out your hoe? And I'm not talking about that girl next door. Whoa, whoa, holy, oh, whoa, I'm sorry. Any rate, hoeing is the act of getting rid of weeds on your field. Typically, they're going to be worked for medium-sized weeds, and we've got weeding contracts, if you will, here on Farming Simulator 25, and he wants you to use a weeder, specifically a hoe, and you can either bring your own machinery or use machinery supplied. Mowing. So remember back in the day, back in the day when we had a mowing, baling, and transporting contract, you had to do all the jobs. So you had to mow the grass, you had to windrow the grass, you had to bale the grass, you had to transport the grass, and then, well, maybe, just maybe, you had to keep the bales that were left over. Nope, those days are gone. Forget about that. Now you're down to very specific tasks. Just like we had baling contracts, we're gonna show up with windrows of whatever ready for you to bale, and a wrapping contract, we're gonna show up with round bales specifically to wrap, a mowing contract, you're going to show up, and they expect you to simply mow the field. And that's it. Once the mowing's over, your job's done. Rock removal, just like Dead Trees, is a contract that came from the premium, or sorry, Platinum expansion in Farm Sim 22 and Silver Run Forest. We're going to have a skid steer, we're going to have a rock crusher, and we're going to have to navigate the hillside, typically, in order to find some rocks and crush them up. Once all the rocks are crushed, we're gonna earn a little bit of money. Spraying contracts or herbicide contracts are also gonna be available. So basically, definitely take attention. Are they fertilized contracts or are they weeding contracts with herbicide? Here we have a weeder. Unlike the hoeing contracts, we have now a weeding contract. So you need to make sure you bring the right piece of machinery for the right contract. And then wood transport contracts are back once again from Silver Run Forest. And here we're gonna find a pile of wood up here by field 20, and we're gonna need to load it onto this trailer. Once it's loaded onto the trailer, well, then it says transport the trees to the specified selling station, 
and get paid. Be careful not to damage him, as any damage will be deducted from your pay. So we have to go to the carpentry, and we get 550 bucks per tree. There's 29 trees to haul. That's nearly $16,000 worth of profit. If we do lease the machinery, well, we're going to lose 400 bucks off the contract. Now, of course, there's going to be other contracts for other things like harvesting, seeding, plowing, cultivating, and such. But this is the list that I have available to me today. And I thought what we'd also maybe do is maybe work our way through some of these and just kind of see how they work. So I'm going to borrow the items for our bailing contract. I want to also, or sorry, a wrapping contract. I want to also borrow the items here for this bailing contract. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and borrow the items for this dead wood contract. Now we can have up to three contracts active at a time. Once we have three contracts, if we try to take on a fourth contract, it's going to say, hey, no, sorry, I think you're, you're pretty much obligated at this point. Come back once you've completed a contract. So we can see our active contracts right here in the active venue. And something else that's new with respect to FS25 is up there in the upper right corner. Well, you can see a status of our contracts. You see we have a bale wrapping contract on field 84, a baling contract on field 19, and a dead wood contract also available to us. There's our machinery that spawned in. And if we come over here to the PDA, we're going to see there's our wrapping contract. There's our bailing contract, and here is our dead wood contract. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop on in here, make my way around the shop, and uh, see what type of bales we have to wrap. We know that they're round bales, but we don't know are they... Well, I guess they're going to be grass. And there they are. So we just have some bales here spawned out. It's going to be our job now to come up here and present the bales to the wrapper. Let's go ahead and turn on auto drop with Z. And I'll go ahead and get this contract out pretty quick and bring you all back once we are just about done. All right, we are sitting here at 91%. We have basically two bales left to wrap. We've quickly wrapped all the bales here on field 84. Maybe took eight, seven minutes, something like that. 94%. So this should close us out. 99% and there we go right 100% done we come in here to our contracts says complete we collect well now we're presented with a completely empty field so gone are the days of lucrative bailing contracts where you can do a silage bale contract and then expect to reap mass awards of extra bales to keep your animals in the food. So let's go check out our dead our dead wood contract. Of course if we were doing this the right way uh, we would we would transport our tree harvester on a trailer. But that ain't what we're going to do. I'll meet you down there. So now that we're down at our destination, well, there's a couple of dead trees right here, right at the edge of the field. And you can see they're marked. And these are the ones that we need to take down. So we got one right there. Got another one over here. And as long as we are within that circle, 
then any dead tree that we find, well, we're going to be able to take down. So that we got another one over here. There's another one over there. And specifically, the contract says number of trees, nine, number of trees cut, zero. So we can kind of keep up with if we've gotten all the trees or how many more trees we've got to go by checking the contract screen. And we have one final final tree to get cut here. And then that should conclude this contract. There you go. It's now finished. Now, of course, since we have the tree harvester, we've already logged out these trees. Now, with the platinum expansion in FS22, deadwood trees really weren't worth anything. If that's different in FS25, well, I really don't know. But I can tell you what. This fella, he's not, he's not, um, he's not hauling trees. Nope. Does this look like a guy that's going to haul trees? No, he's not. All right, so let's uh, collect this one. And presto, the logs are gone. See, you didn't have to haul trees anyway. All right, so let's grab our baler and head up there and find out what kind of bales we need to do on that baling contract. So we have some windrows to stroll up here. And remember, this is ones we have to bail with a round baler. Or sorry, I guess this is a square baler. So yeah, let's just get the job going. And if we came in here with a round baler, it would basically tell us to get off our field. We have no business being here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make these the biggest we can. That'll just make things easier. And I would expect once we get all of this field bailed up, we're going to be told that our contract is finished. And when we collect our money, the bales will just magically be transported somewhere else. So we're on our last pass with our straw. We've made a whopping. Oh my gosh, hold on. We made a whopping seven bales so far. Not the biggest windrows here, but still we're at 96%. And it seems like, again, we're not going to have excess. So. Contracts are good now for money. They're not so good for extra of, of seemingly anything. All right, so our contract is now finished, right? There we go. We come in here and, well, we can complete out this contract, collect our money, and there we go. Now, I did go ahead and take out a mowing contract and rock removal contract. I see Kate. Kate wants us to mow, too. So let's just let's just try something. Let's accept Kate's contract. All right. Um, but let's grab the Macdon that we got with David's mowing contract. And let's see if we can't. Sorry. Let's see if we can't go over to Kate's field and mow it with David's least mower. Right? We could do that. We could do that with 22. Can we cheat the system in 25? All right, here we go. Will this work? Yes, it will. We can indeed. All right, so we can definitely use least 
machinery from one contract to complete a second contract. So that is allowed. Uh, let's let's mow outside the edge here. It's letting us. So I'm really curious to see if the grass just on the field's edge goes away or if the grass everywhere goes away. And of course, as we're mowing, right, our contract is completing. We're completing out the percentage. Once we get to enough percent complete, we're going to be offered to, uh, to close out the contract. All right, ninety-seven percent. Ninety-nine. There we go. So contract is done. We come up here and collect our money. Quick, six hundred forty bucks. And wow, the rest of the field is gone as well. So confirmed. We can definitely use other machines on similar contracts to complete them out and yeah the uh, the grass that's out here on the edge of the field it's still here but you probably can't collect it because you don't own the land so that's that's the dilemma that's the dilemma there now of course you don't have to do the contract yourself either you could contract it out Right? Let someone else do the work for you. Why not? Meanwhile, you got better things to do. Like, crush rocks. So our contract is to remove four rocks. And Noah, well, being the great guy he is, he's already come over here and, and stabbed, somehow hammered in to the rock, these flags, denoting which rocks we're supposed to take care of. So let's get to work. All right, we'll turn on our rock crusher and uh, do the job now we got one done of course we've got to find that fourth rock somewhere around here but that's for me to finish out i'll let you all go that is basically the gist with respect to contracts in farming simulator 25 the key is going to be to pay attention to what contract you are accepting and make sure you have the exact machinery you need to do in order to complete that contract so if it's simply a bailing contract you don't get to pick what type of bailer you want to use the farmer who's trying to issue the contract is going to tell you, I want to use square baler, I want to use a round baler, and as long as you have that proper type of baler, then you'll be able to complete that contract out. If you don't have that proper type of baler, well, then you're going to be a little, a little stuck. Let me know down in the comments below what you all think of the new contracting system for Farming Simulator 25. And until next time, happy farming. Oh, here it is. I'm still not sold on third person view. What do you think? Well, I mean, third person view, it feels a little janky, a little jerky. 
when I'm moving around with the mouse. There we go. And thank you. And good night.